Okay, hi YouTubers. Uh, I have something special here. Uh, co-worker uh, had this uh, Volkswagen Golf. Uh, this is the electric Golf, e-Golf. Uh, fully uh, electrically charged. Uh, it's not a hybrid, so it runs on batteries. Um, so I got this opportunity to make a video and uh, show you guys how it looks inside. I need to also thank the um, uh, Porsche Zagreb uh, Jankomir uh, leasing. They're the ones that uh, made this video possible. So, thank you. Um, the car looks from the outside as a standard Golf, uh, except the uh, alloy wheels. Uh, they're, as you can see, uh, more closed. Uh, because of the less air drag, so uh, it's more. It would be more efficient. If it was a uh, patrol car, uh, but it's all about the like these. But I also think this is standard on Golf. So let's see, just the trunk. You can see uh, the blue the car is a little bit dirty. Doesn't matter. You see the blue colors. Let's open the trunk. Um, okay, that's a standard golf trunk. Uh, decent. Um, this goes up here. Uh, not sure why it was down, but as you can see, the trunk is pretty de decent. Uh, no spare tire in this one. Um, there is an opening for skis, uh, fire extinguisher, sure there's a first aid somewhere inside, and uh, that's it. As you can see, fully electric. Let's get inside. See the interior, the doors. Let's close the doors. Well, the wheel is locked. Uh, I don't have the key with me. The car is unlocked. Um, as you can see, let's see if we can turn it on. Nope, leave it on auto. Um, as you can see, the speedometer is different. Uh, so the green part over here shows you when the car is charging. So if you're braking, the car is charging. The rest is um, classic. Um, as is the patrol car, speedometer is also the same. Uh, steering wheel is nice, has a, a sport um, at the bottom. Uh, nice blue stitches. Um, to show you that it's the electric version. Um, this model doesn't have the buttons, that's a shame, but the steering wheel is really nice. Um, uh, DSG, well, this is how the DSG looks in the standard Golf, but this one has this blue, blue nice color. I bet it lights up, um, I just don't have the key. I'm gonna see if I can show you later if we can turn it on. Let's see if we can turn on the radio. Um, this is classic, like all all uh, uh, Volkswagen brands. Uh, also, like in Skoda and Seat, uh, we have here radio. And this is a nice big touch screen. Um, not sure what's the, uh, uh, the size. I think it's bigger than six. Um, also, we have here navigation, that is really cool. Um, let's see if the traffic doesn't work in Croatia for some reason. Um, uh, so, uh, this is obviously uh, in, I think it's, <laughs> let me see, yeah, it, it is um, currently in German. Um, well, okay, 
if it's cold so the screens can freak out sometimes but okay um, you can also connect your media here um, aux um, I bet it has a Bluetooth you can obviously you can connect your phone you can use voice commands and that's about it um, sound is okay there's the sound um, don't want to get a copyright strike um, uh, no heating seats but you have uh, automatic dual control uh, AC uh, over here we have a nice space for our phone and I'm not sure if you can see guys here um, there's an aux and a USB for your phone you can charge your phone um, here we have uh, automatic parking brake and auto hold option uh, cup holders so that's pretty nice uh, these seats are uh, cloth um, they look really comfortable um, also we have here another armrest uh, small space I'm sorry it's dark right now but yeah it's a small armrest but it is so yeah you can you can adjust it you can move it you can use the levels and all the way up and back um, the car the back view um, up here we have a compartment for our glasses uh, light switches if you can see so oh this is nice a lead bulbs not standard yellow lights uh here we have electric mirrors control for the mirrors uh lock and lock the car your standard volkswagen lights um all windows are electric you can lock the rear windows uh some space for the for your bottles here um let's see if we can do later a Sort of a run hazards. Okay, and let's see how much space is in the back. Also, compartment for your gloves or something. And I almost forgot this compartment. Um, let me see. So, yeah. Okay. Um, AC and it's really dark so but you can't see sorry uh sd cards and cd player is inside of course and let's see the back the car really nice sound when you're closing and opening doesn't need a lot of push to close um this is the back there is a armrest what? cup holders uh, I have exactly the same one in my Škoda Octavia and you can open this uh, room for the keys close it back okay I'm tall two meters uh, there's just enough room knee, knee room close this um, there is an AC uh, vents on the back which is really nice I love that the car, uh, nothing on the bottom. Uh, the tunnel is here, but I bet three person can stand here if it's necessary. Uh, also, LED lights up. See the car. Oops, I forgot to close this. Okay, see the car from the back. Really nice. It looks like a standard golf but it's really nice it's roomy uh yeah i would say the car is really nice spacious um my head don't know if you can see guys my head touches uh the top but i'm still comfortable and um, i can survive a short trip maybe a longer trip because i'm really tall i'm out of the average uh 
maybe a little back problems but in general this car is uh, has enough space and let's just get out and show you show you how much space on the front yeah this seat is really the seat is really pushing back so maybe it could be pushed a little forward um, actually no this is um, if your hand is like not stretching like this it should be it should be fine um, so this is this is it yeah okay and um, mirrors are I think electric not sure if they fold um, maybe it's just not turned on and the lights are um, not sure if these are lead or xenon but you can see it's nice they have lead lights here nice blue finish and your sign and also there's this like fog lights going down and uh, also have this so this is the car guys hope you like the video some of the is on a clutch Okay guys, the car is on. See the lights. Really cool. And on the back. And once again, just inside. So guys, there's options uh, in the car. Uh, there's three modes: uh, Echo, Normal, and Sport. Uh, and you can also adjust uh, the braking power in the car. Uh, so and you have the downhill option so when you're going downhill uh, you can adjust how much it uh, breaks and charges the engine uh, the, actually the batteries of the engine okay what did you say? Samo baci normal drive and you do that okay guys this is my first drive of an uh, electric vehicle so it's really weird experience. It's gonna go easy. It's really um, it's silence, so silence. So that's kind of weird, but. I love because it can just speed up really fast. Um, it's different, but then again, almost the same as a petrol engine. And this is the future. Breaking, the car is charging. So I mark that. So it it doesn't 
drive like the automatic uh, petrol engine uh, when you let go when we brake you can see it slowly charges itself it doesn't when I remove my uh, foot from the brake it doesn't keep moving it's on the position only when you press the gas it starts moving uh, this car has uh, 120 kilometers per full charge uh, the new model is how much this stuff 250 I think. 250 this one is 150 I think something like that yeah and the question everyone has about the heating uh, the heart heats well enough so you won't be cold <laughs> driving uh, the electric car oh, this is amazing it is really really fun guys Thanks guys for watching. Please like the video and hopefully there'll be more drives like this like this. This is a George situation. As you can see now, while we're driving, you can see how the car battery is charging, and when you're braking, it regenerates the battery. So now it's using the juice, and when you brake, it brings power back to the battery.